marketing pharmaceutical. She's a biotech analyst and she joins us now. Karen, thank you so much for being here. First of all, Dr. Malone appeared on the war room with Steve Bannon. He said that these things are not approved. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny has alluded to the same, Dr. Zelenko. Dr. Ruby was on this program yesterday. She was adamant this is an FDA approval. You're a former Big Pharma employee. You're a biotech analyst. You're not a doctor. You're an expert in that regard. Are they approved or not? They're 100% unequivocally approved. The Pfizer BioNTech BNT162B um, coronavirus or COVID-19 vaccine has been approved as of August 23rd, 2021, uh, per letter from the FDA to Amit Patel at Pfizer. Um, I have the letter right here. This is a standard FDA uh, authorization letter. It's okay. absolutely approved. All right, yes. perfect. Got that out of the way. So now what relevance or impact does this approval now have on the release of all of the ingredients, including the proprietary or secret ingredients, trade secrets, whatever it is that we have previously discussed on this program? That's a great question, because uh, a lot of people have been confused and things have been chaotic because the FDA approval process hasn't formal, form, uh, followed a normal process, including consumer good manufacturing practices, which includes the FDA confirming the ingredients and the quality of the ingredients. So that typically happens bef just before the end of the phase three and approval or right around then, uh, and then you go to, to mass manufacturing. So the mass manufacturing of the EUA and Injections that are currently available did not go through the standard consumer uh, good manufacturing processes. And so that's what's happening now. So I'm going to read just straight from the letter because I, again, I don't want people to think I'm giving my opinion, but what's in these vaccines is going to be known um, in the next two weeks at the latest. So what they have to do is they have to confirm with the FDA uh, I think this is per page three of the content of the labeling. So that package insert that's currently available is not finalized. It's the draft uh, package insert. Per this letter, Pfizer has been instructed verbatim as soon as possible, but no later than 14 days from the date of this letter, please submit the final content of labeling in structured product labeling format via, FD, via the FDA automatic drug registration and listing system as described below. Content of labeling must be identical to the package insert submitted on August 21st, 2021. Let me keep reading though. Please submit final container samples of the product in final containers together with any protocols showing results of all applicable tests. You may not distribute any lots of product until you receive a notification of release um, from CBER, the Centers for Biologic Evaluation Research. And lastly, you must submit reports of biological product deviations under 21 CFR 600.14.